Hi, my name is Ella Britton Gibson, and we're at University Cowork today. We are here for an MLK inspired event just for entrepreneurs. And what's going to happen, you might ask? Well, we're going to look at specific lessons that business owners, business leaders, and entrepreneurs can learn from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So this is a, a fresh take on Dr. King. Everyone's really excited about what is going to be learned because it's all about inspiration but actionable inspiration. Inspiration where you can learn something, take something from that inspiration and apply it directly to your business and your life. So really looking forward to getting started. So that what Lavetta said, 
there will be some cloudy days. There will be some up and downs. But at the same time, what I would do, and, and Ella and some of my other mentors would be like, why are you going into this job? That's so not you. Yeah, but here's the philosophy and the strategy that I have. If there is something else that you want to pursue and you know that it's going to cost you more on your dime to learn it as opposed to going into another environment on that person's dime and building up, maybe building up their dream, but at the same time you know it's building up yours, then it allows you to have your strategy in place. But a lot of folks see entrepreneurs as those who are inspired, inspired to be an entrepreneur. They see the end game. Right. They right. see what they consider the trappings of success. But the hours that you put in, the store may have been open from 10 to 7 or 10 to 9, but I'm still up on 2 o'clock in the morning just trying to figure things out. Mm -hmm. With the grow product lines, things such as that. Mm -hmm. So they not see all the work and all the intense, you know, the intensity that goes into you know, presenting what is considered those trappings of success. So it's a lot of sacrifice personally, um, emotionally, you know, and with the family. You know, so it's, it, it's a lot. So what keeps you going? What keeps me going is the, you know, the, the drive for success and the drive to buy some sort of legacy. Um, yeah. It was very important for my girls to see me getting up and going to work. And when they were of age, they would come in the store and actually work in the store. Mm -hmm. So, it was, you know, because that helped to establish a foundation within them in terms of, you know, I think it was mentioned earlier in terms of using corporate, you know, use corporate, you know, in terms of establishing that bank and also establishing a management style, you know. Um, I have my two stores head up to 30 employees, especially during the holidays. So you have an impact on each one of those employees' lives, whether they're working full-time or part-time. So you may not realize it, so it, it's impactful. And not all of them are going to share your vision or share your dream. So therefore, you know, you have to be the answer to all questions. You know, you have to be the answer to all technology issues that took place because they come to you. But one of the values of having and, and having a staff, for those of you who um, intend to have staff, is finding good staff people. In 15 years I had the stores, my three tenured folks are 14, 13, and 12 years with me. Those are my managers. But it is, yeah, so it's very difficult you know, if you are fortunate and blessed enough to get a good staff person, yeah. you lock in. Because it will enable you to take a day off. Yeah. And maybe you can have a day vacation. Wow. Now that was a great event. And here's what made it great. The panelists, so experienced, so wise, and so giving of their insights and advice. And we were really specific about the true lessons. And it wasn't theory, it was, this is what you learn from this quote from Dr. King. This is what you learn from this action by Dr. King. And this is what you can do to apply it so that you can be a better entrepreneur. And the folks in the audience really appreciated the personal connections that they could feel with the panelists. Um, people don't want to go home. They're still here. Uh, networking, passing business cards, finding out about each other's businesses and eating donuts and drinking coffee. It is just a, a wonderful energy and wonderful spirit. And here at University Cowork, we believe in having programs that feed the mind and feed the spirit and inspire you and inform you and propel you to success. And that definitely was the experience that we captured today. So please join us. Find out more about University Cowork. We have a website. We're on social media. Drop by. Take a tour. You're going to love it here because we are a community that believes in entrepreneurs. Take care. <laughs>